Hey, what up guys? It's Sick, and today I want to talk about MQ2 Camera. So before I jump into this video, I just want to take a moment to talk about this uh, stick, right? The stick figure thing. Because um, I'm going to get a lot of questions and uh, and uh, PMs and stuff about like, Oh my god, how did you get your stick? Give us the sticks! Um, the stick figure mode is something that is actually in your EQ client. It's a pure EQ thing. It has nothing to do with Mac Request 2 or Red Guides or plugins or anything weird. Um, in your EQ2 client, INI, you just add uh, stick figures equals one, and boom, now your dudes are all stick figures. I think the only player uh, player race that is not a stick figure is Draken, but everyone else is stick figure. This is a frog lock, um, and they look particularly cool with their stick figure mode, with their uh, their weird like Cthulhu looking face and shit. Um, Karens are also pretty cool because they got that, that long ass uh, cat tail. It's pretty sweet. Anyway, so I just want to get that out of the way before I get 100,000 questions about it. So let's load up MQ2 camera. So plug in MQ2 camera, load uh, MQ2 camera by Brainiac, sla type slash camera for more information. Camera max distance set to 150. Um, now I think by default, camera distance zero. I think by default, this is as far as we can zoom out in game right which I mean that's all right but a lot of modern games allow you to zoom out further and that might be something you want um, you're looking for something or maybe you're monitoring a fight or maybe you're monitoring ads and uh, and you need to pay attention to where the ads are coming from uh, so maybe you want distance to be larger than that so we're gonna do uh, camera distance 1000 right which is pretty large distance probably not gonna play like this I don't know, I don't remember what I keep mine on, probably like 300 or something. Um, but if you notice, this allows me to zoom out uh, pretty far. And uh, now I got a much better overview of uh, where I'm looking at and uh, what I'm up to and what I'm doing and all that jazz. So, <clears throat> so that's cool. That's primarily how I use it. I just use it to have a larger distance, camera distance, you know, I don't know, 300 or something. That's still pretty good. I mean, the 150 was was great. Um, yeah, I mean, this is 150, so this is pretty great. Just that extra little distance to give you a little bit of breathing room is pretty handy. Um, but let's do uh, let's do something really cool, okay? Um, who NPC uh, named 50 to 100, okay? Because I know there's one in here, I just don't remember the name of it. Okay, so there's a named in the zone uh, just Lola <laughs> Okay, now let's say for whatever reason I want to see what's going on around her Watch this camera uh, attach uh, Jess Boom now my camera is Attached to this NPC now. I can't obviously I can't move. I'm just my camera is not just fixed on this particular um, mob if the mob was moving, my camera would move with it because it's attached to the actual spawn. Um, and then I could just do like camera uh, reset and it'll reset my camera. Um, let's do camera and check the buttons again. So we can do camera attached target or ID number or name. So attach camera to another spawn. So if there was another, uh, if there was another user here and I wanted to attach the user, um, I could either target them and then do that, I could do it by their name, or I could do it by their ID number, and I could attach to another uh, another character, another player, and uh, follow them around. Um, that, that's pretty neat. Um, I, I like that a lot. Uh, camera, if you set your distance, distance save, if you set your distance to something, um, camera distance uh, 300, camera distance save. I don't know why that's saying set to zero because it says do camera distance, either reset the distance number or save. Specify save to save the value. Camera distance, camera. I'd actually reset it, camera distance 300. Okay, well, I don't know, whatever. Uh, maybe I'll post up a bug on uh, on the GitHub uh, for Mr. Brainiac to take a, take a peek. Um, but anyway, that's basically the whole plugin. Um, this is not uh, this is not an active hack. It doesn't uh, manipulate memory in any manner. Um, this is something that the game allows you to do uh, with like the little floating eyeballs or uh, you know uh, uh, 
vision graft or that kind of stuff. So this just mimics that same uh, that same behavior. Um, but it's it's pretty cool. I like just being able to zoom out just a little bit more, just to give myself a little bit better uh, overhead view. So give it a try. Check it out. See if you like it. And uh, I will talk to you later.